Hey everybody, Paul here at Dream Guitars, and Bill Tippett and I have been friends for a long time, probably longer than this guitar has been around. Um, I met Bill many years ago when I was traveling with Martin Simpson, actually. We were teaching a workshop in Marblehead, Massachusetts, just down the street from Bill's shop. Um, Bill has a beautiful shop on the water there. Um, and Bill came over and brought some of his amazing instruments and Martin Simpson fell in love and actually ordered one I think a lot like this, it was a triple O 12 fret um, and then proceeded to have a Martin Simpson signature model as well which we did a couple of. So anyway I've known Bill a long time and I'm here to tell you he's one of the best on the planet. Most other builders will tell you that he's uh, one of the masters, he's, he's a really great finisher. Um, he really took the time to learn how to do finish work awesome of course many years ago um he was even hired by some other companies some big companies to help them fix you know fix their finish issues and things like that so anyway bill's a true master um, and and a good guy anyway this is from 2003 it's a triple o 12 um t triple o t 12 c for cutaway um so triple o of course martin triple o short up size body um, then inside the voice amp course is all Mr. Tippin. So this was at a period early in his career before his crescendo model. So this was sort of the predecessor to what has become the crescendo model. But some of these are killer. And this is one that I really, really love. As soon as I laid hands, I'm like, whoa. This was, Bill was cranking it out back then. Um, anyway, we've got here an Alpine spruce top with a little bit of bear claw. Really beautiful top. Bill is one of the best in the business for fretwork. His fretwork is awesome and nice and clean. Nice tall saddle here, so lots of um, adjustability. Slotted headstock, Waverly tuners, mahogany neck. And this one's got really nice Brazilian rosewood too. Bill is a wood junkie. I've been to his shop many times and he's got a big pile of wood. And um, I've actually um, purchased some Brazilian rosewood with Bill over the years. So... I know his taste in wood and it's always good and it's always based on tap tone um, as it should be. Really cool guitar, plays easy. It's got um, two strap buttons so you can play this with the strap the way you should. And uh, I just love it. It's got a great blues sound, um, but it's also open enough to play beautiful music too. So I'm gonna play some blues I think because that's what Bill would want me to do. Mm -hmm. 